It's been a long month for Ozzie Guillen and the White Sox, and now they've lost eight of nine, trying to avoid being swept in a doubleheader by the Indians. Dylan Axelrod with the start, first inning, two men on, but it gets Jim Tomei to ground into the inning-ending double play, so that works out nicely. Jump ahead now to the bottom of the fourth inning. Matt Laporta at the dish with the Indians already ahead, 2-0. Laporta goes to right field, and that is going to carry. Extra bases for Laporta. In comes Jim Tomei, 3-0 Tribe. To the bottom of the fifth, Josh Kinney now on for Axel Ron. Base is loaded, and he's able to get Grady Sizemore to pop out to end the threat. That closes the door on Axel Ron. Four runs allowed in four and two-thirds. Top six, Rafael Perez in for the Indians, facing Alejandro Diaz with two on. That's a little flipper out there in the left field, and that's going to fall, and it gets by Duncan. So here comes Vicieto. He's going to score, and it's a 4-3 ball game. Not great defense there from Shelly Duncan. The White Sox will take it. Top seven, Zach Putnam in, facing Gordon Beckham, and Beckham able to split the gap in left center field. That puts runners on at second and third, and after a Juan Pierre ground out, ties the game at four. Alexei Ramirez with the single against the drawn in infield, and the White Sox take a 5 4 lead. Ninth inning, Chris Sale on for the save. One out, one on, facing Carlos Santana. Should be. Take your time, and this ball game is over. Yes. A five-out save for Sale, his seventh on the season. The win goes to Matt Thornton, who worked one and a third innings of scoreless relief. Beckham goes three for three with three doubles. The three doubles are a career high and are the most by a White Sox since Aaron Rowan hit three in 2005. Also, Omar Vizcal had two hits to give him 2,841 for his career. That places him 45th all-time. So the White Sox and the Indians split the double dip.